Yo, what is going on, guys? Got a video here today from Horizon. Let's get right into it. Oh, yeah, you're really about to pay today because you know Medicaid has to be reimbursed to the state, right? Not it. Well, you just found out something today. I'm so glad that you are ready to learn something because you are about to learn today, okay? Child support is $1,096, plus we need to reimburse that Medicaid, like I told you. So we take that $5,400, do 9% of that. That comes out to $486. $486 plus the $1,096, and bring your child support obligation to $1,582 per month. I'm sorry, you said one thousand what? One thousand five hundred eighty-two dollars. Anything else? <laughs> For two kids? <laughs> I always find it incredibly funny when women are ordered to pay, pay things like child support and alimony when usually the way it goes is that the man is required to pay these amounts, right? But nobody seems to care when men are on the line, their wives divorce them, their girlfriends leave them and things like this, and they're on the line to pay all of this money. And when it's a man, nobody gives a damn, right? But all of a sudden, guys, when it's a woman, there are many articles written about this stuff. You have lots of women crying and complaining that they were forced to do it. And now it's all about, I don't want to have to do it. This is the man's responsibility. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I found out my wife just left her corporate job for a cashier job. She's like, she wants to get out of the payments, what she's doing. Payments of what? Child support, ma'am. Is there a reason why you're not paying to support this child? I left my job and I did do it intentionally. Wait right? a minute, wait a minute. You intentionally left your job? Yes, ma'am, I did. How much did you make at your last job? Annually, 70000 Now I work at a convenience store. How much are you making now? 30000 a year. What's the qualification to work at that job? You just need a high school diploma. High school diploma. Yes, and you have a master's degree. I'm not about to play with you. Ma'am, I'm going to make you pay child support. $899.60 is going to be your monthly child support obligation that you're going to pay each month to this man. Wow. That's a, a decent chunk for what she's making. She will be forced to get another job. So let me get this straight. This woman decided to leave her job because she didn't want to pay the dude the same amount of money and it didn't work. That is absolutely hilarious. The judge saw right through this and said, you know what, we're still going to make you pay child support. So she has to pay $899. Um, gross monthly income, 5833. Net monthly income, 4497 So a good chunk taken out of her income there. Um, but she tries to work at a convenience store so that she doesn't have to pay child support anymore. That's hilarious that the judge just sat there and went, yeah, no, thank you. You're going to have to pay the... Uh, the full amount and shout out to this dude to you know for dragging her to court as well he's like wait a minute she's trying not to pay child support she even left her job um and this guy drags her to court to get more money out of her shout out to that guy another job my baby daddy quit his job as an electrician where he was making over six figures a year to work a minimum wage job at a fast food place just so he wouldn't have to pay me $3,000 a month in child support. Is that not ridiculous? He would rather take a massive pay cut than to give me money to pay for his kids. I mean, you know what's absolutely ridiculous? The fact that you're trying to get $3,000 a month from a guy in child support. Okay, guys. It's crazy to me that women are even able to receive child support because number one, it typically goes towards them. It doesn't actually go towards the children. What, you know, nobody needs 3K a month for this, by the way. Um, but she's obviously, she's not putting it towards child support. She's putting it towards the mortgage that she has apparently, right? So she's pissed because the dude is, um, he, he did the thing where he changed his job because he doesn't want to pay her three grand a month, which why would you? Um, but you know what, if this guy is being required to pay three k a month, it sounds like, you know, he's the one who's more financially independent. And yet for some reason, guys, the kids just always go to the women. Okay. If you can't look after the kids, maybe the kids should have gone to the dude. Not my problem. He would rather take a massive pay cut than to give me money to pay for his kids. I'm just so pissed right now because how the fuck am I going to pay for my mortgage? How am I going to pay for my mortgage? And you can tell me to go get a job, but then who's going to watch my kids? Because putting my kids in daycare is going to cost more than my freaking house. So Wait, I thought they were his kids, but now they're your kids? 
I, I love this like language that these women use. It's like, how am I going to pay for my kids? And then she's like, well, the man's supposed to pay me 3K a month to pay for his kids. Very interesting language that's being used here, guys. I don't have any sympathy for these women. You know, a lot of the times they up and leave their marriage. They up and leave um, their relationships in order to basically extort money from the dudes. Okay, if you want to leave, I don't think you should get any benefit of still being with that person. Grow up, get a job. I don't care how expensive your mortgage is. If you can't afford the kids, you shouldn't have split up with the guy or you should have made a better choice in the man that you decided to have kids with. Not my damn problem. So what am I supposed to fucking do? Is the only time having a boyfriend is worth it is when is when he is able to fully support you and pay all your bills. I said it. I said it. Yeah, you said it. But wouldn't it just be so much easier to admit that one is broke and can't actually handle being an adult and paying one's own bills? He's not your husband. If you're going to be a girlfriend to someone, he needs to be paying all, all, all your bills. Otherwise... This is exactly why men walk away from dating. Okay, apparently a man, he's not your boyfriend unless he's paying for your bills. You know, I guarantee you this is the same type of woman who claims that she's loyal and she's a great girlfriend and she is the table, but for some reason she'd be out at clubs on a Friday night without you, okay? It's just disgusting to me that men are still required to put in all of these traditional behaviors. Oh, he has to pay all my bills. He has to open my car door. He has to take me out on dates. He has to plan the dates. And then what the men get in return is someone who's awful, to be quite honest with you. Like, these women painful to be around and this is your reward for putting in the effort it doesn't make any sense to me and these women don't think it through they think that they are the prize right but the question a lot of dudes are asking themselves right now is okay is this really worth it am i going to go through all of this headache just to look after a woman who doesn't even give a damn about me who only views me as a wallet anyway and the answer a lot of guys are coming to is no thank you why is he there? What is his purpose? Well, I could think of several reasons, actually, but what do I know? If he's not, he's just a boyfriend. Meaning if he leaves you and a boyfriend is not a legal title. Congratulations for figuring that part out. If he leaves you and promises you marriage, leaves you with nothing, you get nothing. <laughs> leaves you with nothing. What is this? <laughs> there is no responsibility these women take at all, right? It's not his responsibility to leave you with things. Okay? Again, guys, these women expecting benefits from a relationship with the man without actually being in a relationship with the man. It is so crazy to me, guys, how women expect to be able to leave or let's just say the dude leaves. Why does he owe you anything? You don't hear dudes making videos like this, like, yeah, my wife left me, man. So I just expect her to come around every night and continue cooking me food. Right? It's because it's, I've become accustomed to that. No, it's stupid. If you don't have a relationship with the dude, you don't deserve the privileges of being in a relationship with him. And this is why, guys, man, it's so disgusting to me that the government intervenes in situations like this. And if dudes are out here not paying child support or alimony and things like this, they get tossed in jail, right? Like, how is that fair? That's crazy. Nothing. You get nothing. At least they understand the basics. But if he's paying all your bills, you're able to save money, you're able to invest into businesses that you want to do. If he leaves you, you're leaving with something else at the end of it. Another example of a strong, independent woman who can stand on their own two feet. Not at all a gold digger. But to date a guy and be someone's girlfriend for free, for free? Is it just me or is some women completely lost when it comes to actually understanding what the concept of dating is? I mean, if... This woman is essentially just a night worker. All of the women that make videos like this and think exactly like this, oh, men have to pay me or else I'm not going to be in a relationship with them or whatever the case may be. These women are essentially just night workers, men. Like, let's just cut the chase here and call it for what it is. I can't say the word here on YouTube, um, but I think we all know what intimacy and relationships for money really is. You don't really have a relationship at the end of the day. These women aren't even worth like anything, guys. Worth zero money whatsoever. You'd be better off spending your money on video games, to be honest with you. Let's continue. Check this out. So I have zero shame in telling a man that after three months, you are paying my bill. And if you're not, bye-bye. Oh, you think he gonna be mad? <laughs> Girl, you're doing him a favor. Seven billion people in the world. If you can't do it, somebody else will. So I have no shame. I'm kind of sort of trying to find somebody to bring me food. Every so why are you still looking? I talking to a guy and I said, yeah, after three months, pay my bills. And he said, no. <laughs> 
What you thought he was gonna say? Like, a guy knows. Like, oh, if I really like her and she's not crazy, yeah, I would pay her bills. Maybe I threw it out there too soon. Maybe you shouldn't throw it out. Men don't understand the investment and the benefit and how we're trying to make sure that we're not getting played. I can't help you, men. Don't talk to us. You're not the one. We're not talking to brokies. Girl, you sound like the brokey. You sitting there begging somebody to pay your bills. She is the exact reason why men are choosing to stay single. <laughs> it's funny to me how there are so many clips of delusional women on the internet that other women have started getting in their cars and roasting the other women. That's so funny to me, man. So you have Exhibit A here, who made the video, who's obviously a complete psycho, expecting dudes to pay her bills after three months. And then you have women like this who are like, wait a minute, this is getting a bit out of hand. And then they go and get on here and they make their own videos roasting the women who are saying the dumb stuff. I mean, guys, fantastic. Let, let's keep this up. So apparently, according to this woman, um, you have to invest in her, uh, pay all of her bills at three months. And the funny thing about this situation as well, guys, is like she's saying, oh, I'm just I'm talking to the guys with money. I'm not talking to the broke dudes. Pretty sure the dudes with money don't want you either, right? There are probably a good amount of dudes who are watching this video that I'm recording right now who are quite successful, have their own businesses, maybe a few properties, things like this, and they will not look your way. They don't like you, okay? I mean, <laughs> like, it's so crazy to me that this woman thinks that she has leverage against successful guys. A lot of successful men will just look at you, realize that you're a headache, and not talk to you at all. A lot of successful men are going overseas to avoid the exact type of woman that this is right here. So riddle me that. This woman who said she did not want to be a responsible parent, so she gave up her kids, and now she's having to pay her old husband child support. Okay, so in November, I decided I no longer wanted to be a responsible parent, and I gave up my kids. Serious? Have you guys noticed that some of my videos have gone missing over here on YouTube? That is because I am slowly moving them over to locals where I can actually host them without the risk of getting in trouble. If you are not aware, many creators are starting to move over to places like locals, Rumble, etc. Because YouTube is not really a free speech platform. So if you are interested in supporting the channel and getting access to videos that are no longer available here, make sure that you come and join us over on Locals. The link will be in the video description down below. Supporters get access to their own exclusive videos that are no longer available to the public. So make sure you go to the link in the description and join us over there now. But anyway, guys, back to today's episode. So she starts off the video by saying that she did not want to be a responsible parent anymore, so she just gave her kids up to their father, so that way she didn't have to worry about taking care of them anymore. She goes on to say that she was just tired of being responsible and caring for her children. It also didn't fit with her lifestyle anymore to have her children, because now she was going out and dating other men, and living a life where she couldn't stay at home and take care of those children. And now she's paying child support to the kids' fathers, because he is taking care of those kids now. But that's not exactly what she's upset about she's mad she couldn't claim them on her taxes even though she cared for them up until november because the dad that now takes care of the kids has already claimed them on his taxes what do you guys think about this i mean shout out to that guy right crazy to me guys women like this exist and they just have no you know um morals surrounding family or anything like this I've said this on a few of these videos now, guys, but there are so many women out there these days. You know, they don't like kids. They don't like the family unit. They would rather go out there and party it up and live the single life. And obviously not every woman's like that. In fact, you know what's funny? A lot of them who feel like this, they don't like kids. They don't like family, that, that kind of thing. They end up getting to 35 and they change their tune real damn quick when they realize that they're running out of eggs. Um, but th these people are not mothers. You know what I'm saying? Not mothers at all. Um, so this woman decided to return to the streets, which guys, again, if you're a girl and you want to be out there, you know, hitting the streets, you're some strong, independent woman, you don't need a man. I mean, have fun, not my problem, okay? But maybe don't go out there and have children with a guy, especially if you don't want to look after them. Let's continue. 
I don't like that they get the adult dude coffee dates. I don't care how much money I ever make. I still want my man to pay for everything. He should pick me up. He should drop me off. He should buy me Ubers. In exchange, he gets to not embarrass me and breathe my air. I think it's pretty fair. I think we're even Stevens. Otherwise, um, I don't need a man just to have a man. This is for me. For the guys who are mad, though, cry about it. So you now want to get custody back from... Yes, ma'am. Let me just wind this back because this clip was kind of short here. This is the kind of woman that men don't want, right? Men don't want you. Um, you know, all of these, uh, these women who make videos like this, they have real problems with dating because the men that they want don't want them. Okay, so your yearly reminder here about the business that I'm standing on. So this is exhibit A of someone who says that they're strong and independent, and yet the man has to pay for everything for them, and the man has to protect and provide. But I thought you were strong and independent, right? In exchange, he gets to not embarrass me and he gets to breathe my air. This level of entitlement is absolutely crazy, guys. And granted, not every woman is this clinically insane, um, but there are certainly more and more women these days who adopt this exact same attitude. I see dating coaches, yes, you heard that right, guys, dating coaches out here on TikTok for women who say this kind of garbage, and they get an extreme amount of attention. They get tons of likes, they get tons of comments, and these people are, you know, growing. They're very popular with the women these days. This is an attitude that's more and more prevalent, and this is why more, you know, there's more prevalence with dudes who are choosing to walk away from dating. So let's continue. I about it. So you now want to get custody back from? Yes, ma'am, okay. from Houston. Who does the baby live with? Me. The baby? No, my baby lives with me. No, not your child. The How many children do you all have between you? Just one. Just one. And the child lives with him? Yes, ma'am. And you want the baby back? Yes, ma'am. How long has the baby lived with you? The baby? He's been yeah. living the whole time. Oh, okay. And how old is this child? Five. Five. Oh. And you expect to get child support? Yes, ma'am. And the child has been living with him for almost, it's a boy or a girl? Boy. His whole life? Yes, ma'am. Well, when I get my baby back, I want child support, yeah. He makes way more money than I do. I want my baby back and I want child support. I'm sorry, you have to excuse me because nothing you're saying is making sense right now. You came to court to ask me to give a child back to you that was taken from you that's five years old, that's pretty much lived with this man the entire time that he has been they took, taken care of. They took my baby away because my ex-boyfriend is an abuser and I'm not with him anymore, so I want my baby back. Right, but the child hasn't been living with you. The child has been living with him. Yeah, because of my ex, and I'm not with my ex anymore. Uh, yeah, so no, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. He would literally have to have given you the child back. You guys see what I mean about a lot of modern women these days treating their child as though it's just some sort of paycheck? I think this woman doesn't even care about the child to begin with, right? I, she, I don't think she cares about the kid. I think the reason she wants the child back is because she wants the dude's money, okay? This dude's like, what the hell? He's been looking after the kid for the past five years. Um, and you can tell just how done with it he is. She then also tries to blame the fact that the reason she doesn't have the kid is because of her ex-boyfriend, who was an awful man. I think we've all heard this story before. But, um, yeah, I mean, guys, whenever the custody doesn't go to the woman, um, usually th something is really, really quite wrong here. So you mean to tell me that these two broke up, she got with another dude, and she wanted to have custody of the kid, failed to get it because the living situation was bad. The kid is now living with him for the past five years, and now she wants to take it back because she wants money. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy ex anymore uh, yeah so no it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that he would literally have to have given you the child back and then you come in here after you've been having the child for some time then you come in here and say judge i want this to be changed i've been having the child this entire time i want him to pay child support that would be a little bit more reasonable but what you're asking for today is very unreasonable okay well yeah it's very clear that she's just coming here because she wants the money right 
I want my kid back and also give me child support. Same exact court session, here's what I need. Give me my baby back and then I'll come back in a while and ask for child support. Well, I can't give you your baby back because I never took your baby, okay? Actually, nobody really took your baby. You lost your baby for, for your own negligence with your ex-boyfriend. That has nothing to do with me, okay? Now, fill me in over here. The baby was placed with you after the boyfriend hit the baby? Yep. And he's been living with you ever since then? Yep. You've been taking care of him? Mm-hmm. You pay for everything for the child? Everything. What does she do? Uh, I visit. She, she visits unsupervised. Okay, congrats. <laughs> she visits unsupervised. Ah, yes, the, the absolute classic here. So this entire time, by the way, it doesn't sound like she's been paying child support. This dude's been doing absolutely everything. Right, so he's been paying for everything in the meantime. She hasn't given him any child support. It doesn't seem like he has requested any child support. Now she just wants to rock up to court one day, take the kid, and put him immediately on child support. How disgusting is that, man? You can tell that the woman is just an absolute nutbag, right? You know, like, yeah, I mean, we can say that the dude is the, the reason why she didn't have the kid. But I guarantee you the woman is also completely crazy as well. I don't think that was a good environment for the kid. Um, even without the uh, the ex the other boyfriend there at all. Congratulations. Financially, what does she do? Uh, oh, financially? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's what I figured. Okay. <laughs> I see what's going on here. Yeah, and I'm not about to play this game with you. You're the one that's going to pay him child support today. What? Yeah, you are. He makes like three times as much money as I do. I have to give him my money? Um, it's for the child, so yes, you do. You do. But the good thing is, it's based on your income. You'll get credit for the other child that you just, your eight month old, you'll get credit for that child. But yes, you are going to pay him child support. That, that is absolutely hilarious. Also, she has another kid, so it sounds to me like that man who was oh so awful, um, she's, she, it sounds to me like she had a kid with him as well. Like, why, why would you do this, man? Okay, like, this is the crazy thing is like, women can be with a dude who is objectively awful. And then they'll still decide to have a kid with him. They've split up. Now she's with a, another child here, an eight month old. Like, if you knew that the dude was awful, and again, guys, these dudes who do these awful things, honestly, I haven't, you know, those guys should be thrown into the court system as far as I'm concerned. You don't want to be doing those sorts of things to kids. That's just absolutely awful um but she decides to have a kid with the guy it seems like and now she has an eight month old as well but absolutely hilarious here she has to pay child support to the man fantastic stuff that's just the right thing to do it's one child between the two of you okay and health insurance i'm assuming you pay it yes how much is it 66 a month 66 dollars okay I get it through my employer so huh i get it through my employer okay gotcha and how much do you make a year? Thirty-eight thousand dollars. Thirty-eight thousand. So, I have your gross coming out to three thousand two hundred dollars. That brings your net to two thousand six hundred forty-eight dollars and one cents, giving you credit for the other child that you have. Your child support obligation comes out to four twenty-three sixty-nine, plus the sixty-six dollars you're going to reimburse him for health insurance every month. So sixty-six added to four sixty-three sixty-nine is four eighty-nine sixty-nine. So she came to court, tried to take the kid and then was required to pay him child support. That's hilarious. What is this? Petitioner to pay $489.69 per month in child support, plus the, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's including the health, in, the health insurance reimbursement. Uh, I see, yeah, 489. Hilarious. She is, not, she is not happy about this, man. She is not happy. So she came to court thinking that she was going to take the kid back and get this guy on child support. Despite the fact, by the way, guys, that she had never paid child support to this guy. Okay, so during the five years that this man has had the kid paying for absolutely everything, she hasn't input anything. I mean, that's crazy, man. The entitlement that you have to have and how shameless you have to be in order to do that is astounding. 66 added to 463.69 is 489.69. 489.69? 
did you need me to repeat it? I'm asking <laughs> you, 489, so I have to give him almost $500 a month? Yeah, that's how it works. Did you really think that I was going to have him pay you child support? No, I just wanted my baby. Oh. Oh, now we're just lying. Oh, I just wanted my baby back. You see how, like, the language changes here, guys? So at the start, she said it, she said she was coming here for the child support and the kid. But now, because she just got required to pay this and things are going a little bit uh, not the way she intended, now she's trying to claim that she just came here for the kid. I love these, these little word games that these people play. Ridiculous. I don't think this uh, judge is going to have it here, though. Pay you child support? No, I just wanted my baby. Oh, okay, so your first answer was no, so then you understand exactly why you have to pay child support. Is there anything else? No, ma'am. Okay, is there anything else? Nope. Okay, you all, maybe you all are dismissed. You know what's funny? This guy didn't even ask for child support, it seems like, this entire time. It, it just sounds like he would rather um, have just not interacted with the woman at all. So he's looking after the kid. He's paying for everything. And I, I, you know what I think? I think he just didn't want to have anything to do with her. He probably could have got her on child support and tried to make her pay money to him originally. But he, this woman is so crazy that he probably didn't want to interact with her anymore. Craziness. Guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there. As always, remember to take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace.